Okay, let's make an attempt at making this. So, this video is going to be about the event to get Holy Lady gone. In the last video, I explained her skills and all of, like, her uses and the armor I'd recommend for her. Um, in this video, I'll tell you, like, what you got to do to get the event items, what the event is, and everything like that. So, let's get started. So, let's take a look at the rules. Number one, you need to consume Ancient Crystal to summon. Each summon has a chance to obtain reward. Also, acquire points. Ancient Crystal may be obtained from Quest Drop or by consuming gold in the shop. You may open the chest for your reward once you acquire enough points. And each chest opened will not reset your points. So, you have to use 60 crystals to click Summon. That doesn't mean you're summoning anything. All it means is you're going to get 60 points added to this bar. They use summon for who knows what reason, because technically you aren't summoning. I guess it's just to add it up. You can't click this until you get 60 crystals. Now what happens when you do click summon with the 60 crystals, you have a chance of getting some of these drops. I think there are other options too, but uh, and that's how you get the crystals. Now, once you reach 1,100 points, you can collect this, and you get two Holy Evil Scrolls. Now, after collecting this, you won't get, like, it won't erase your points or anything. You keep gaining them. So the next chest, you can earn, you will earn, Water Lady Gone. Four-star skill, uh, attack an enemy target, stealing one buff from this target, and granting it on one ally with lowest HP. Attack an enemy target, maximizing the cooldown of all skills on the enemy target and restoring HP that equals to half of the damage dealt on an ally with lowest HP. And her third skill, each time an enemy receives a buff in their turn, this buff has 30% chance to be removed, while the enemy target's attack gauge will be reduced by 5%. And her leader skill, 33% HP everywhere. I don't... I personally don't like her. I, this skill... All is all right, but there are plenty of better buff stealers. She's, but I guess considering she's a four star, it's not that bad. Uh, but you have to build her offensively. Like for this to heal decently, you're gonna have to, um, you're gonna have to invest into attack. But to take advantage of her passive, you've got to invest in HP. So she's a tricky one to build. You either pick one or the other and build her based on that, or you try to make a hybrid build. But this cooldown is six rounds, so she'll only heal every six rounds. Attack an enemy target, maximizing the cooldown of all skills. Fire Guan Yu does that, and he does it on all enemies. So she might have a niche usage. I don't think they, I don't think she's that good. She's just kind of thrown in there so that. Why not, I guess? I'd rather have pocket demons <laughs> than a useless hero like that. Semi-useless. She has uses, just not good uses. Uh, cost 2,200 points to get her, and then Holy Lady Gone. Now you get the hero. It's not a fragment. You summon the hero from here, like once you reach 3,300 crystals, points, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's look at the drops from consuming gold, I'm only going to buy stamina and talismans because um, I don't have a great deal of gold to work with. And nine crystals. See, that's the freezing. There we go. Uh, talismans. Only four crystals. Um... The best way to do it would be to grind. Well, I don't know. I say that, but I don't really know. I mean, it's going to be expensive no matter how you do it, but you could hope for the best and grind with stamina. Um, but I've heard that, if you heard that noise, it's, yeah, it was uh, compressing the other video. Um... But I've heard the drops are 
terrible everywhere. So let's grind here. Uh, just go with Lulu. So that it's not wasted. There we go. Um, I've heard the drops are terrible on premium packs, buying coins, uh, talismans, grinding. I've heard it all just isn't good. So, you just kind of got to hope for the best and hope you get lucky if you really do want to go for her. But you'll have to be prepared to drop probably 10,000 gold. Maybe more, depending on how bad your luck is. So, keep that in mind if you do want to go for her, that it's going to take a lot of gold and you're going to have to commit to it. Because you don't want to make it halfway through and decide, I don't want to keep going, because that's a lot of wasted resources. Okay, so one completion, got one Ancient Crystal. Let's quick clear five times, see what happens. Four crystals. So, one more time. We're averaging less than one per completion. And I don't... I guess we can try a normal level just to see what happens. Seven crystals. See, it's it's kind of all over the place. Um, oh, crap. Let's see. This is the fastest one. Actually, you want Shao should be able to take him out in one shot. Let's see. If it loads. There we go. Yep. So... None. And... Two. <laughs> Try one more since I did... Uh, two quick clears that's on the other one. Two. <laughs> so it looks like the drops are better if you do a harder level. Um, but they're still terrible considering you've got to get 3,300. I am at 61. Okay. Here's what happens when you click summon. That's what I was trying to do. I was hoping that I could get up to 60 and show you this. So you click summon. Uh, these are the prizes that I got, and that's how much it increased, by 60. And it only goes by 60, so if you have 120, you've got to hit summon twice, you get the rewards for both of them. Um, she's, it's not that she's a bad hero, but to me, she isn't worth the 15, the Ten to 15,000 gold you're going to have to spend on her. Just because the second they nerf speed, she's useless. Her entire existence is to counter speed teams. That's it. Besides that, she doesn't even have like an odd niche use. She is just kind of there. She is there for her passive to let you move and hopefully give you a chance to take over. So, she is really good for that specific reason, but if in a month or a couple, heck, if in a couple weeks, if they do something that changes Arena to where speed isn't dominant anymore, if they give just tanks or something a chance uh, to fight, She's lost her use. Her only use will be to counter the few speed teams that are left. And is she really worth that? It all comes down to are you willing to spend 15, 000, 10 to 15,000 gold on a hero that could be useless, like completely useless after a certain amount of time. Like... Granted, most heroes are getting outdated quicker and quicker.
but at least you can still use them for a specific purpose. None of her attacks are based on her HP. You have to focus on her HP to keep her alive, to get the most use out of her. It's just too, in my opinion, it's too much for what you're actually getting. And if the boost, it only boosts one hero. So if the boost goes to the wrong hero, you can't even make a good comeback or stall them off. You'd have to run her and then three people that either can one-shot nuke the entire team. So like her, uh, Holy Semijiao, and then two heroes, like um, Evil Lady Me would be a solid one, or some other hero that will be able to take someone out and hopefully kill the rest of them, and you'd have to run Dong Zhuo with them. Like, otherwise you aren't going to be able to deal the damage. So, Dong Zhuo or uh, Cao Cao. But then you got to worry about them running immunity and all that good stuff. So, she's it's really hard to support getting her besides her entire purpose, which is the counter speed. If you're willing to put out the gold to get her, the rewards are good. She's just not that great, in my opinion. For what she does, she could be good, but I don't see the cost... I don't see her outweighing the cost it requires to get her. So it all comes down to, is she worth it in your eyes? Is she going to really help you to progress. It's up to you. I'm not getting her. I don't think she's worth it for me personally. I would rather just continue with how I'm going along. So it all falls down upon how you play your play style and just things like that. Uh, this was re pretty repetitive and I was kind of rambling throughout the entire thing, but thanks for watching. Hopefully I helped you out a little bit with this. Um, I just don't want anyone to get her and then regret it later. So if you are going to get her, commit and try not to have second thoughts or any doubts. Just be sure you want her and you want to get her. Um, thanks for listening. Have a good day. See you all next time. Goodbye.